Hey guys, it's Tin Man the Nicktoons Fanatic 2001. Today in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts on the Backyardigans again, but a more improved thoughts on the Backyardigans, as well as, of course, my thoughts on Allegra's window and Max and Ruby. So anyways, let's get started with the video. So, um, I did actually rewatch an episode of The Backyardigans for real recently, and it was actually a lot better than the Rugrats reboot. Because, you know, um, from what I saw from Rugrats reboot, it was not as good as the original series, nor was it any good than um, the uh, Rugrats movies and the uh, Rugrats Tales from the Crypt. And um, it is even worse than the Rugrats Preschool Days shorts, which were shown only on DVD. So yeah, I no longer like the Rugrats reboot. And um, yeah. So anyways, yeah, I did rewatch the Backyardigans, and it was better. And I do hope in the future I will find some more, or not some more. Uh, find some Backyard Against DVDs that I didn't already own because uh, back in the day I used to own the Backyard Against episodes on the Nick Jr. Favorites DVDs and um, it and um, it felt pretty annoying to me. Um, of course, uh, Nick Jr. Favorites was my childhood, but but now I would rather watch um, Blue's Clues on the single disc DVDs. And if I want to watch Wow Wow Wubsy, I would also watch it on the single disc DVDs. Same with all of the other TV shows. Um, so, yeah, I'm not missing out on any content anymore. Now that I will be buying every episode of Backyardigans on DVD. Compared to buying individual episodes on the Nick Jr. Favorites DVDs. Because all I've done was saving money and saving shelf space, which was... A very good thing for me. Um, and before I decided to buy the Backyard Against DVDs, I did take the Bear and the Big Blue House titles and transferred them over to um, a new place. Since I, I will be watching it that place instead. And yes, I still do like Bear and the Big Blue House today. Anyways, let's not talk about that show right now. Uh, let's talk about the Backyardigans. So yeah, I do now like the Backyardigans, and um, and it was, it was a lot better than what I remember. And I remember back in the day I used to own those Backyardigans toys and um, singing the songs and stuff. So yeah. And that's what made me get back into this show, was the fact that I actually remember that show from my childhood. So, yeah. So, now that I've officially shared my thoughts on the Backyardigans, let's get on to Allegra's Window. Now, I have seen that show in recent years, and it was a very good cartoon. I have seen it, it was very good. Um, definitely one of the best 90s Nick Jr. shows I've ever seen. Um, along with Gullah Gullah Island, Blue's Clues, I believe a Little Bear, and a Little Bill... And a few other shows. Including, of course, Kipper. So, yeah. I really do like Legwa's Window. We've, um... Some of my favorite characters from this show are... Allegra, Riff, Rondo... And I believe, um... Uh, one of the characters who does work at, like... I guess a music shop of sorts. Um... I can't remember what that character's name was. But, um... He reminds me of Steve from Blue's Clues. And I think, think it was it was very good. Um, and then later on, I know um, it got taken off Paramount Plus. Probably because that Paramount Plus needed to save money and uh, make room for other shows, especially around the holidays. So I've decided later on that I would buy it on Amazon Prime. And I have seen only one season of, back, of that show. And it was still very good. 
Um, I wish I could have watched the last two seasons, but um, it was too late for me to do that. So anyways, yeah, I really liked Allegra's Window, and um, it was a very good 90s Nick Jr. show. And now, let's get on to the final thoughts on Max and Ruby. I have rewatched Max and Ruby on Paramount Plus, and it was a very good cartoon. I liked it just about the same as the, the show I've seen from my childhood. Yeah, Max and Ruby was my childhood, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I did eventually get rid of the Max and Ruby, the Max and Ruby DVDs because none of them even had special features, as far as I can remember. Well, maybe some of them did, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But anyways, yeah, I did rewatch Max and Ruby on Paramount Plus, and it was still a great cartoon. Um, I can respect, um, Movie and Game Lover 98's opinion on Max and Ruby, since he lost interest in that show. But, um, Max and Ruby is definitely my childhood, and I will continue watching that one for years to come. And it is still on my cartoon poster today. Um, I think some of the funniest moments that and I have ever seen was, uh, Max, um, I'm trying to to do something and that his well I'm sorry I, I couldn't talk I believe um the funniest moments from Max and Ruby are the fact that um Max is a little brother of Ruby's and um he actually he sometimes may not listen like the funniest moment was um he put he put an egg on the chair because <laughs> he didn't really he didn't really want to eat eggs he wanted to eat the strawberries and I thought that was so funny. It actually cracked me up. Um, so yeah, that's why I like the back. I like Max and Ruby because it did have some funny moments, and it is my childhood. Um, and I can respect some people's opinion if they do not like Max and Ruby. So, anyways, um, I guess that will wrap up this video. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um on your thoughts on the Backyardigans, Max and Ruby, and Allegra's window. So anyways, um, that will wrap up this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.